Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be the first video of my six week cutting series or fat loss series or whatever I decide to name it by the time this video goes up. But I'm going to be taking you guys along with me for the next six weeks showing you what my training looks like as far as weightlifting and my cardio routine and then also the most asked question what I'm going to be eating throughout the day. That is the most important question you should be asking what it is that I'm eating. So we're going to kick this video off with um, a full day of eating and what I've eaten for the past week. Um, I'm also going to insert a clip at the end of the video showing a before and after of a week of me following my routine. So how I track my progress is by pictures or videos, um, taking measurements, and then just seeing how I feel or how my clothes fit. In this series, I will be stepping on the scale for you guys just so you could see how my weight fluctuates throughout the six weeks. The scale is not a good way to track your progress, okay? It's not a good way. Other than that, let's get started. All right, we're gonna kick this full day of eating off with meal one, a PB&J protein smoothie. We got some frozen blueberries, frozen bananas, red seedless grapes, some pitted dates, some old fashioned rolled oats, coconut water, almond milk, and creamy peanut butter. Now I'm personally someone who prefers to eat their calories versus drinking them, but for the weeks that I'm struggling to eat, I always throw in a loaded protein shake. So for anyone out there who struggles to get enough calories in, this is a great smoothie for you and it's very filling. Adding all the oats, the peanut butter, and the protein, I promise you, you won't be hungry after this shake. This is great for those of you who don't have much time in the morning to cook. You can easily separate these in Ziploc bags, put all your food in there, pop them in the freezer. That way the morning of, just grab a bag, pour it in your blender, add your liquids, oats, and peanut butter, and you can be out the door in under five minutes. Time for meal two, we got some potatoes, chicken, and broccoli. Now you will know that I'm a lazy cook. I found this pre-seasoned chicken at Trader Joe's, these country potatoes, and broccoli. This whole meal will take you maybe 10 minutes to prep. of meal prep chicken, but I did find this polo asado chicken at Trader Joe's pre-seasoned and thinly sliced, and it was so good. So this will definitely be a new staple.
this meal, including prep time, only took me 20 minutes to make. I'm all about finding recipes that I can get done quick and that can save me the most time. On to the last meal of the day. I combined my snack and meal three. I'm gonna be having some sliced cucumbers and oranges. Oranges, orange, and an orange, just one. And I'm going to be making a tuna avocado toast with this sprouted multi-grain bread I got from Trader Joe's. Make sure you grab the tuna in water. They have tuna in oil and tuna in water, but it'll save you some calories. And obviously I couldn't figure out what I was doing with the relish, but I like sweet relish in my tuna. And I'm not big on dairy, but I couldn't find the dairy-free mayo, so I just bought some light mayo. Here is my one week check-in. Moving forward, I will make sure to keep the lighting consistent as well as the outfit that I'm wearing. I did not take my measurements on day one. I don't know how I missed that, but moving forward, I will be posting my body measurements as well. <laughs> 